Here's a tougher isotopic abundance question. Rubidium has two isotopes. One has this mass, another has this mass, and the average atomic mass of the two is this. They ask, what is the abundance of each isotope? I'm gonna organize this in a chart for you. Rubidium has two different isotopes, RB85 and RB87. RB85 weighs 84.9117. RB87 weighs 86.9085. That's the mass of each isotope. But what we're looking for is which, how much percent of all rubidium is each of these. Here's the trick. All of the isotopic abundances for a particular isotope obviously have to add to 100%. Otherwise, you'd be missing an isotope. By definition, the isotopic, or the average atomic mass is the mass over all, or 100% of all the isotopes that occur in nature. So, we're gonna say that RB85 has an isotopic abundance of X. What's the isotopic abundance of this then? Well, it's 100% minus X. Now I've written 100% as its decimal form here, where you divide by 100. So, x percent this, and it has to be 100% minus x remaining for this. Now we don't know what x is. x could be 10, so it's 10% this, 90% this, or x could be 75, so it's 75% this, and 25% this. We don't know. But now that we have this stuff, kind of numbered out, we can set up our average atomic mass equation, where the average atomic mass, in this case, which was given, is each isotope's mass times the percent that it accounts for, written as a decimal. I'm just gonna add on the second isotope here. 9085 is that second isotope. And so what I have is that this isotope accounts for the fraction x, and this isotope accounts for all the rest of it, 100% minus whatever was accounted for here. Make sure you plug in the number you're given for the average atomic mass. Now you just have to solve it algebra style. In this case, 85.4678 is 84.9117x, and you have to distribute the 86 through the brackets. So I get 86.9085 minus 86.9085x. The way you solve a linear equation like this is to move all the x's to one side, all of the numbers to the other. Looks to me like it's gonna be easier to keep the x's on the right. So, I'm gonna put the numbers on the left. That's a number, I'm gonna move my 86 over. It'll become minus 86.9085. And on the right, get 84.9117x, minus 86.9085. Gonna need a calculator for this one. 85.4678 minus 86.9085 turns out to be some weird number, negative 1.4407. And 84.9117 minus 86.9085 means I have negative 1.9968 x's left over. How do you solve for x here? You divide out the 1.9968. Oh, those cancel each other out. I'm left with x on that side. And on the left hand side, negative 1.4407 divided by negative 1.9968, I get 0 0.7215.
So, the isotopic abundance of RB85 turns out to be 72.15%. Notice how I converted from the decimal to a percentage. And the isotopic abundance of RB87 is one minus that number. One minus that number turns out to give me 27.85%. You could have just as easily done 100% minus 72.15, but my way was fine too. So you can solve for missing abundances by, if you like setting up one of these charts, allowing one of the isotopic abundances to be x and making the other one however much is left when x is already accounted for. Best of luck.